some of you guys know that last Friday I got pulled in for a New York State DOT inspection. They did the inspection on the truck, and then you know what? They gave me a really good compliment, and it was something I wasn't expecting when they were looking at the truck. But more importantly, what it was is, is something in the boot boxes, and I want to show you something, and this will help you. So stick around. I'm going to give you some free tips here. So most of you guys know that when you get an inspection done, they do the typical, they bang the tires, they check all your lights, they look at all the stuff. Everything about the truck, they pop the hood, they, they give your steering, uh, your steer axle a little, a little twist and a push, and your steering uh, elements all got to be tested and checked. They look at wheels, they look at your mirrors, they make sure your lights work, they make sure everything's good on the truck. And then they ask you that question. They go, Brian, let me see, uh, let me see your fire extinguisher and your triangles. And you go, okay, sir. Mine happened to be in the boot box, right? So there's my fire extinguisher. And there's my triangles. Now that triangle box has had the crap beat out of it, but the triangles are in there and they work. But then they made a comment to me. The girl said to me, she goes, that's really well organized. Is it always like that? And I said, well, yeah. She goes, you would be amazed how many times we open up the boot box or the driver will open up the boot box and crap just falls out onto the floor. People just throw stuff in and they don't give a damn. She goes, I really like the way you've got that organized. And I says, well, you know, thank you. So I'm just going to show you this real quick. And, you know, it's real easy. And this has this falls into line with like, you know, we all like our trucks to look nice on the outside. And we try to keep them, you know, clean as they can inside. Um, but this falls into, into the category of, man, have a little pride in your ride. And show a little pride. You know, take the time, take the extra care. Okay, so look, this is real easy, right? Fire extinguisher, an extra pair of gloves, a glad hand lock. You know, in here I've got a couple cans of lube, a couple extra straps, um, an extra pair of gloves, another extra pair of gloves. Um, stuff like that. I got my my triangles, and then I've got my bolt cutters. I've got my bar for doing uh, doing flatbed, and I've got my my pin puller. Why is there a, why is there's a seal wrapped around? Oh, I know what that was. I had to use the bar to twist the steel seal off, and the seal I haven't taken it off yet. I can I'm, I can bur uh, hardly wait for the comments on that. Um, but that's just the way this boot box is, and of course. Our first aid kit, right? Now, this is the, this is mandatory. You have to have this. First aid kit, fire extinguisher, and the triangles are all mandatory. You have to have them on the truck at all times. And then, you know what? Let's go around and look at the other side. Over here. Easy on the fucking dirty truck comments, guys. What do we got in here? Well, back there we got a tool set. That's a, like a 60-piece socket set with, with bits and all that kind of stuff. But over here, right, I've got extra hose, an extra set of fuel caps, every trucker's uh, friend, you know, duct tape. I got zip ties in different sizes and they're all, all tucked away nice and neat. We've got, we've got one hand holding a camera and the other one, oops. Anyway, hold on a second here. There we go. On this one here, what do we got in here? Well. Extra fluid, 
a little bit of diesel 911, which we probably don't need. Winter's over, right? We got some fifth wheel grease, um, some more bits and stuff like that. Um, we've got all of the replacement pieces. If I got to switch out the airlines, uh, we've got a torch and that goes in there. And over here, Hey, I've got my hooks. I, uh, I can put those away. These actually get mounted back up on the frame. Um, I've got extra hoses for everything. I've got my upper rad hose. I've got this hose. I've got an extra set of, I don't know how that got in there. Um, I've got an extra set of belts, right? All the belts for this truck. I've got a whole extra set, complete set of belts. I've got a cordless drill and that's what I've got in here. I've also got the toolbox that sits on my, my passenger side floor. Um, and in there is just, you know, hammer, chisels, shit like that. No firearms, but it's organized. And that's the way I like it because you know what? I don't want to be having a scramble in the middle of the night on the side of the road and have to go looking for stuff. So guys, this is a nice, easy one, right? It's going to save you time. It's going to save you a hassle and it's going to save you money. If you know where it is and you don't have to go scrambling for it or you don't have to go buy another one because you can't find it, here it is. And all of my inside cabinets on the truck all the way around inside uh, are, all, are all the same way. I don't know if it's my OCD. I don't know what it is, but I refuse to waste time looking for stuff. And this is how I do it. So there you go. Free tip. Let's close that up. You wouldn't know she got washed a couple of days ago, but hey, she's dirty again. You know what? A dirty truck is one that's been working and this baby, she's been working. So there you go, boys and girls. Get your boot boxes because you know what? When the DOT looks at you and goes, hey man, nice job. I'll take that all day long. So will you. All right, we'll see you down the road.